Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. Just a quick video with some exciting comic news. One of the most exciting um, announcements to come out of San Diego Comic-Con 2024 was from Scott Dunbeer, longtime um, IDW employee, mostly known for bringing the beautiful artist edition books that I so love, covet, and cherish. Um, Scott has left IDW after many years to create his own company called Act 4. Um, Comic-Con was going to be the platform to which uh, he was going to launch his new publishing company and make major announcements. Um, one thing that was expected was his association with uh, Walt Simonson and that we would be getting more Ragnarok books from him. Um, I was hoping per personally that uh, Scott would continue with his artist edition books because they are his in Convention, and arguably nobody does it better than he does and uh, rest easy because uh, Scott is continuing with his artist books with the major announcement that next year we'll see Jason Pearson's body bags um, artist edition a book personally that I thought I would never see um, I'm a friend of Jason Pearson. I love his work. Um, forever fan. I'm so sad that he is not with us. I miss him every day. I love him dearly. Um, had many conversations about art and um, art books and um, uh, I actually suggested to him a artist edition at some point and he never ever wanted any art book but I kind of don't believe that. Um, uh, you know, Jason was notoriously uh, a complicated person. He threw away a lot of his original art, so I'm so glad that this is even possible. Um, the artist edition is reported to contain, like, everything. Everything from the miniseries, everything from every series, every promotional item. Um, I'm assuming all the Michael Golden covers. So it should be definitely the e-ticket, something to look forward to, the event of the year coming next year, I'm assuming in 2025, something to look forward to. Now, the only caveat is that it was mentioned that this would be a Kickstarter, and that is where I have to take pause. Um, like I said, Jason was a complicated person, and one of the controversies he left behind was an unfulfilled Kickstarter, which I can contributed to, my, to it myself, and um, I don't feel burned or anything, but, you know, I do feel disappointed that we don't have that book, and I do feel Jason was working hard to get it to us before uh, his untimely passing. Um, so, it had been mentioned uh, by Kevin Gardner, um, who is, like, from 12 Gauge Comics, and I think in charge of Jason's estate, that they would try to work something out for the unfulfilled backers, and maybe put a bonus book with it or something. I hope they really do something like that to work it out because um, I hate that so many people were bitter about the Kickstarter and I know it probably bothered Jason as well. So I think it's kind of unfair to ask people to contribute to yet another Kickstarter um, even though, uh, you know, arguably this one will be fulfilled, but it's like, why a Kickstarter if you're a publishing company? I know a lot of people do it, but whatever. That said, take my money. I'm so there. This book is going to be amazing. Big, beautiful, and gorgeous. Jason Pearson, Gone Too Soon, one of the best artists of our generation. Um, kind of underrated, fan favorite. If you know, you know. Everyone who knew his art loved his art. Like I said, he was a personal friend of mine. I I miss him every day. Um, I, even though, I, you know, he was so poo-poo about his art, I do feel that he is smiling down and probably very happy and would love to see this book, see the day of light. So I'm very excited about it. Save your pennies, kids, because you know it's going to cost a pretty one. But we have this to look forward to. Thanks to Scott Dunbeer. I am so excited that he is continuing his artist edition books with Act 4 and look forward to see what other exciting books he has in store for us. Thanks for listening, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button and I will bring you more soon.